after watching Couples Retreat and just life in general, but we're just gonna use Couples Retreat season two. A man will disrespect his woman for the validation of strange men that he never met. But a woman will slice and dice her mama, honey, for that man. And watching these men reject their women in order to get validation from these other men, it's very much giving daddy issues. And I'm not weaponizing that because that's a real thing, it's valid. But to watch it play out, it's so obvious, it's so blatant that you want approval of these strange men that you never met, right? You may be um, fanboying, but you never met them and they have no investment in your relationship, right? For you to disrespect your partner like that, you're telling Jess, Jess Hilarious' partner is telling her how he doesn't love her over and over again, right? Um, the comedian Michael Blackson has to make it known that he's screwing all these side chicks. He just mad disrespectful. The ex-basketball player, Nick, he's out here like, I'm not watching these kids. You need to get a, uh, you need to hire somebody to watch these kids while you go to school. It's just, it's disturbing. A man will disrespect his woman for the validation women are in relationships with men who publicly denounce them, who publicly disrespect them, who publicly show them in the world that this is not what they want. And Ronnie DeVoe, I just, out of all the couples, they have, you know, one of the most serious issues. However, they seem to get along the best. Now, I'm still early in the season. Now, things could turn around. Maybe, maybe it's me. But listen, if this is, this is what we working with out here in these couple streets, like, I mean, no judgment, but the women and the men need therapy, individual therapy and couples therapy. Call me. Well, you got AJ, and you got your boy, but well, call me. Quick story. So I remember when my husband and I went to couples therapy, and the male therapist was trying to bond with my husband by making a statement like, yeah, you know, women are emotional, something like that, just trying to like build rapport, but he came for the wrong one that day, okay? My husband was like, nah, my wife's not like that. She's actually very level-headed. She's very logical. And if she's emotional, it's because she has emotions. Shut him down. You understand me? I didn't have to say anything. And since he was sitting across from us, you could tell the shame that he felt in his spirit, honey. And I just looked. I looked at my husband and I was like, you ready? He was like, yeah, let's go. I don't know what's worse. Having somebody from the outside of your relationship trying to come in and invalidate you, right? Invalidate your feelings, emotions, needs, wants, etc. Or having your guy disrespect you and invalidate you in front of somebody else. I don't know which one is worse, but ladies... Get you somebody that won't allow any of these things to happen. Ronnie DeVoe seemed like the only one that got some kind of sense, child. I don't know. And he 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 in there for the long haul with his, you know. He they all got some work to do, most definitely. But baby, I do. I, I don't know.